long did I not wander? Yeah. She's no lowest way. Yes. People have these so-called vigilantes all wrong. I am Green Arrow. I am Iron Man. <laughs> For everything I've done, that's destroyed your trust. You betrayed me. Yeah, she needed you. You ditched her to go with dumb blondie. Green arrow girl. Billionaire by day and hero by night. <laughs> Oliver, you're better than Christmas. Oh, uh, thank you. Stick it. <laughs> Suck it. Excuse me. Okay, Isis. The tale of eternal love. It's quite a title you chose. You know, my love life may not be in the same shape it was when I started funding this Yep, project, Oliver Queen-centric. Where's Clark? And you're hoping that wherever she may be, some feisty little blonde is going to get the message. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Mercy's even sticking it to Chloe. Love it. And not a caricature of him. What are you up to, Oliver? The city has embraced me. I'm trying to give something back. Please, you're not Metropolis' hero, okay? Go back to Coast City. I mean, I mean not Coast City, I mean Star City. <laughs> I'm compassionate. I'm acting. What do they say, Oliver? The show must as far as I'm Gee, you found out. <laughs> you find that out right now. Convenient for the plot. <laughs> it's Isis, yes, but it's not the DC Comics character. By the end of this episode, Clark is not going to tell Lois a secret. And I get why you didn't tell me for so long. But the fact is, knowing you're the blur just makes Superman. Me Come on, producers, stop calling him this blur crap. It's bullshit. And I sound like a bad soap opera. <laughs> yeah, exactly what the show is. <laughs> wow, even Erica Durant's is Brent. Yeah, I'm pointing that out. <laughs> And why are you dressed hey, in the Egyptian outfit? <laughs> wow, even this is more plot convenience. You think Isis would dress herself up like that? Not Lois dressing herself up like that. Hey Clark, do you remember when the blur and I kissed? <laughs> How could I, Lois? I wasn't there. <laughs> acting like Clark. When I realized that the man I loved and a hero I admired were the same person, it was like everything just went into place. Nope, we have to stall that out for uh, the entire season. Probably not until the end of the show. Carpe diem, Lois. You can do this. By tomorrow, you will be living in a brand new world. Still no explanation. Still no explanation why she's dressed like that. And how the hell did that get in her... How the hell did that get in her bag in the first place? Well, they better explain that, otherwise it's a plot hole. Yeah. I mean, Erica Durant's finally got top billing. I mean, second billing. This is not the Green Arrow show, this is Superman's show. Yeah, I'm just like Batman, I can uh, speak any language. Yeah, that's crazy talk. That could never happen. Never mind the fact I encountered a, a man turning into a monster and uh, 
uh, uh, my future uh, love interest and future wife, you know, Sonic screaming, but no, that's crazy talk. Going to the future? Well, finally you're supporting him after you backstabbed him, backstabbed him with uh, kryptonite and pissed, you know, pissed all over him, basically. Yeah, producer's more glorifying uh, Green Arrow, why don't you? For all his misdeeds, you know? And they said spoons. If I remember correctly, you coming out to Lois did not have a happy ending. Your relationship with Lois wor will work, Clark. I mean, Ollie's supposed to be with Dinah. But again, they're stalling that out. Clark, she loves you. That makes you a lucky man. Of course they're making him <laughs> Of course they're making him look the smart one here. Because really the show's about the supporting characters, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, sacrifice. Do whatever it takes. Come on, Clark, you had the nerve to go up and kiss her in Crossfire. Clark. You don't have the nerve to do this. She already knows. You choose first. It's only choice. Now, Lois isn't exactly the donut eating type. Psst. Go first. No, actually, I'm going to tell my secret right in front, right in the middle of the Daily Planet, where everybody can hear me. Hey, hey. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, the stand-in for Cat Grant, because we got two Cat Grants running around here. We got the one on Good Morning Metropolis, but they totally ditched her because that wasn't Cat huh? Grant, you know, interviewing, uh, interviewing uh, Oliver after he revealed the secret, his identity. Yeah, gravitating towards the past shipper. Uh, dwelling on the past, are we, producers? Piss off. <laughs> I'm not interested in you. <laughs> oh, Isis, no. You're not Cat Grant. Stop acting like Cat Grant. They were, they're not they're not gonna reveal that Lois steal it for some out of character reason, are they? Or are we gonna let's believe that the Suicide Squad did this? <laughs> Wait a minute, so she stole the Isis necklace just to impress Clark? Okay, Lois would not do that. Like... What? This doesn't make any freaking sense! Are you referring to the red kryptonite lipstick? What was that? The sound effect. Wow. Oh man. He's gonna reveal a secret to to some I, Isis, but not Lois, and Lois isn't gonna remember any of this. I'm Superman. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck is that? What what the fuck is that? <laughs> Now she's gonna fly. Oh, Heather went wins carry me so I can fly 